Hi, I'm Tressa Brannon from Total Style Solutions and today we're at Kings Row Formal Wear in Salt Lake City, Utah. Let's talk about how to put on a tuxedo. You've got your special occasion and you're ready to go. Don't wait till the very last second. Make sure it fits. Try it on when you pick it up if you're renting. Make sure it fits and everything's you've got all the pieces together. Don't wait till the very last second. That's my number one tip. Next, you want to make sure you put your shirt on first. I highly recommend, a tuxedo is generally a white shirt. Sometimes it's color, but generally it's white. I highly recommend a good white undershirt. Make sure there's no print on the front of the shirt. That's going to show through. Just a solid white undershirt. An undershirt is meant, you're going to think, oh, I'm going to be extra hot in that. Actually, it's just meant to help absorb any extra moisture or odor that, you know, when you sweat, you're standing at the front of the altar, oh, scared or anything like that, you're nervous, or you're standing in the sun taking pictures for hours on end, but it helps to just get that so you don't get the ring around the armpit kind of look. So you put your shirt on first, you button it up nice and neat. You wanna make sure you tuck your shirt in really nice and neat to your pants as well. Now there's a couple different options for what you can do for putting on your pants. Now we all know you put your pants on one leg at a time and then you pull them up. So you can take your shirt and pull all the excess to the side and then tuck it in nice and neat or you can pleat it in the back, whatever works. So then you take your pants and you put them on. Now in the front of a lot of pants, they're adjustable here and you can actually take your fingers and put them in through the pocket and then in the inside there's like an opening because they're adjustable. So you can take your fingers and actually take your shirt and kind of tug on it and pull it down and to keep your shirt nice and neat and tucked in. So if your shirt tends to blouse out throughout the day because you're moving and you're wearing your tuxedo, you can actually just put your, pant your hand right in your pockets and tug and pull down. So you've got your vest on and you've buttoned it up. Now there is a little bit of an adjuster in the back of most rental tuxedos for sure. Um, in the vest. So you can adjust it to pull it in and help it look nice and trim rather than being baggy and heavy and full out in front. Gives it a more trim, modern look just to make sure that it fits your body really well. So your next step is actually going to be your tie. I like to put my tie on. Okay, I recommend that you put your tie on before you put your jacket on. It's just a little easier to move around. So it's got an adjustable line so that you can adjust it to your neck width. But then it's got a hook and eye closure as well. And you'll notice that I'm holding on to that. My fingers are on the inside, would be between the tie and the neck. So you want to give make sure that when you adjust it for your neck width, that you have it about a half an inch too short so that when you put it on, it'll be really tight and choking because your fingers are in there. But once you pull your fingers out, it gives a little bit more room to breathe. So you take it, you put it right underneath, hook and eye, close it up. Now, you want to make sure you're not all crooked and bring it around to the front. So you want to make sure that you're nice and neat and even. Now if you've got it too loose, there's going to be some width here that's going to show at the top of your neckline. You actually want that right up high, so you need to adjust it and make it a little tighter. It's much, much, much more difficult to adjust when it's on your neck, so it's better to measure it before you put it on. So then you take your tuxedo jacket and you put that jacket right on. Now depending on the number of buttons on your jacket for your tuxedo, you want to make sure that top button, if it's two buttons, is always buttoned. Make sure that top button is buttoned. Now if you have three buttons, you can use the sometimes, always, never rule. Sometimes the top button is buttoned, always the center button, and never the bottom button. And then when you sit down and button your jacket, it'll help it to just lay smooth and not bunch up right in your face. The next thing is your shoes and your socks. Tuxedo dress shoes are always much shinier and nicer and neat. Make sure that they look nice and shine and clean and free of any debris. And socks. Now if your shoes are newer shoes or they're brand new even in your rental shoes, you want to make sure you wear two socks so that the socks rub together and the, create the friction rather than creating a blister by having your sock um, and your shoe rub. So two pairs of socks is kind of a little trick for new shoes, whether they be tuxedo shoes or any other type of shoe. So this is how you put on a tuxedo. Again, I'm Tressa Brandon from Total Style Solutions reminding you to express your greatness.